September 16, 2011 at St. Vincent's Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama. As you come into the South Tower, condensers are each approximately 500 tons. There's the Von Aqua system installed on condenser number one. It goes into the condenser there. It comes out there. And they have uh, two condensers. This one's a train. And there are the Von Aquas entering into condenser number one, uh, two. As it comes out, it goes to a common pipe right here. It goes back out to the tower. Here is our control board. There is the ion generator, and there is the anodes. The low 12 DC volt current, the anodes are inside, perpendicular to the water. And there's the ion generator. It's at a control setting of three versus the maximum of eight. The polarity light, which will reverse every 90 seconds. When the anodes are expired, the check anode light will go on. I'm now I'm gonna walk out, there's the reverse of polarity. There's the controller. As you can see, we're running right now conductivity of 19 loads. It's running all, they're on and off on uh, condenser number one. 1,975 micro siemens. We typically run a little over 2,000 with a bleed set point of 2,100. Now walking out to the tower, although you can't see our treatment of the common return line, you can see where the sun has made an indentation of the Bon Aquas surrounding the return line. There's the makeup water line, and again, the Bon Aquas are inside the casing. There's a look at the towers. to Evapco Towers, a little over a thousand tons of cooling. And there is, again, the entrance to the South Tower at St. Vincent's Hospital in Birmingham, Alabama.